Hi everyone, in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to deal with the Galaxy Blast results. You may end up with a really big file that's hard to scroll through, and this is an easy way to sort it in a spreadsheet. So the first thing we need to do if we wanna look at this data from Galaxy in a spreadsheet is click download. Once it's done downloading, and I'm actually gonna cancel this because I've already downloaded it, um, you should be able to open it up in your downloads folder. So I'm gonna go show in folder or just open up my downloads. And I have the file here, right? So 76 megabytes, it's a pretty big file. And I can open this in Excel by right clicking or two finger clicking and doing open with Excel. As an Endicott student, you have access to all of the Microsoft Office tools. Um, so you can follow the instructions on Canvas to get a free copy of Excel on your computer if you don't have one already. Once I open it up, you can see that there's a ton of columns of data and a lot of rows of data. It's a very large file. So we wanna simplify it to be able to sort through it. The first thing that we need to know is what data is in each of these columns. We can find that out if we go back to Galaxy. We can rerun the BLAST job and we can look below where you click execute at a whole art article about what this application actually does. So it searches a nucleotide database using a nucleotide query. So the query is what we put in to BLAST and giving back a subject. The subject is what matches in the database. All of the columns are explained here. So what do we really care about? We care about query accession number, subject, percent identity. So the query is going to be what, which of the FASTA files from our spades assembly was the best match. The subject is going to be what in the database was the best match. And then the percent identity is how similar they were. We also care about this final one. So we did the expanded um, set of columns so we could get more information, including all subject titles, because knowing the accession number of the subject isn't as helpful as actually knowing the name of the species. So if we go back to Excel, we can type those in for those columns. I'm gonna insert a row and name the column query subject percent identity. And then the final column in the spreadsheet is going to be the species name. So I'm going to delete everything except for the final column. And this is going to be species. Now that we have column headers, we can highlight those headers and go to data and add a filter so that we can better view what the results are of the blast search. The thing I really care about is what was the best result? What, what sequences actually have 100% identity? So I can do that in a couple ways. I can sort largest to smallest, or I can actually select from the pull down menu. I can select only the rows that have 100% identity. Either way, I now have a list that I can look through. It's not too long. A lot of the things that match are not perfect matches. Um, but I can see a couple of species that come up multiple times. So the Brady Rhizobium japonicum, USDA, that's something that comes up um, a lot, a lot of times. Um, and then also we have a complete genome that comes up for a couple of other species. Um, so this Geobacter SP is another one that comes up with a complete genome. So either of these would be acceptable for you to select as the genome that you are going to map to. Um, you just decide as, as a researcher, which one do you wanna try? So I'm gonna try um, a Cenobacter or Singe um, 16S RNA. That's a, that's a perfect match. Actually, it's not a perfect match because it's just a partial thing. I'm not gonna try that one. I'm gonna try the Geobacter SPM21. And I'm gonna go back to my browser and go to NCBI genome 
to look up that particular genome. So if I look on here, um, it doesn't find it doesn't find that genome, so that's not going to be a good one for me to use for the alignment. So I'm going to go and try to look up a different organism that has a, also has a perfect match. So this one had a lot of perfect matches. I think this one would be a good one to try to look up. And it does not have a perfect match. Let me see if this will come up with a genome. There we go. So I just put a little bit too much information. So this is a nitrogen fixing plant symbiont. This is something that we should be able to try to get a genome file and align it to our data. Um, and we can get the genome by clicking on this link. So if you click on this link, the .fna.gz file will download. You don't have to unzip it. You can just directly upload that to Galaxy. So I hope this helps you figure out the process for going from a very large BLAST result on Galaxy to identifying for yourself a possible reference genome for your microorganism.